Therese understood the love of God in a gradual developmental way. At first, she understood loving God as obedient to God's will, which is an important understanding, and she never abandoned that understanding. But gradually she realized that loving God had more of an affective sense for her, and she began to love God with the love that we read about in the Psalms, our desire to be with God, the, the imagery of the, of the um, deer yearning for running streams as an image of our yearning to love God. But then she realized that that too was something that was in some ways beyond her and was also mixed with an ambiguous motivation. And so she finally came to understand God not only in the love of God through obedience and in the love of God as a desire to be close to God, but as the love of God through the awareness that God already is with us and we don't have to desire His presence, we don't have to desire His, His love, He already loves us. He loves us through our creation, through our baptism. He loves us in the present moment. So her final understanding of the love of God, which includes obedience to His will and includes her desire, is the awareness that to really love God is to let God love her. God is really good at love. God is love. And she finally found out in her in her f mature years, that the love of God is understood in, in, a, in a special way by just allowing God to love us in our weakness, in our giftedness, in all of our life.